come on guys i see tune in great and share god bless you happy monday to you god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you as you tune in tonight just go ahead and share go ahead and share God bless you, God bless you, God bless you as you tune in. Please go ahead and share. Make sure you're hosting a watch party. Who is there? Is um who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Who can I send? Who can I send? Who can I send? Who can I send? Okay, guys, go ahead and share. I love you, I love you so much. Zaman, I love you right back. God bless you. Please make sure you're sharing the broadcast. Let me see your locations where you're watching me from. Let me see your locations where you're watching me from. Happy Monday to you guys. I am praying that the broadcast is not going to cut off on us. I see 43 people tuning in. You see this, my red? <laughs> I need the red hat. You see this red? I need those red hats. Welcome me with those red hats. Welcome the Holy Spirit with those love. Let that love go around. I want you to engage like never before. Remember what happened yesterday? We don't want the broadcast to cut off on us two good times. And I don't know who the person is that as soon as I come online, that is when the person feels damn fit to message me. You need to stop that habit. God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I see that some of you, you don't have share by your name. Tina, Tina, you don't share the broadcast. Go and look for groups and join and be sharing the broadcast. Some of you, you don't understand why you have been in Evan Chapel for years and your files have not opened. If you're not a sharer, you will never be located by this woman of God. That is the truth. Because evangelism and soul winning is the heartbeat of Jesus. Victor R R Rivera, you don't share the brokers. If you're not the type that shares, you will never be located here. I am so blessed. Yamima, God bless you. I am good. God bless you. God bless you. Please make sure you're sharing for the people in UK. Claret, make sure you're sharing for people in Caribbean. Claret is actually a well, though. I don't see you. What's going on? Anita, God bless you. Anita, say, I'm not real. Please pray for me. Share the broadcast, Anita, seven times and you will be ill. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you're watching from, Victor is tuning in from New York. Can you share for the people in New York? God bless you. Please, as you tune in, go ahead and share the broadcast. I want you to share the broadcast. Share the broadcast before you say hi to me. God bless you, Mwachi. Wow, Mwachi, you are back. My God, I haven't seen you in like a long time. What's going on with you? Mary said, uh, miracle, whatever. Don't, be, um, don't message me on the page now, please. Keep your message and send it later to me. Don't message me when you see that I am live. I do not like it. You can message me after the live broadcast, but not when I'm live. Please, uh, miracle. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Please don't message me when I'm live. Message me when I'm off the broadcast. God bless you. Hi, Mira. How are you doing, Mira? God bless you. Hi, Simeon. Mommy, I joined groups, but anytime I share, they say it's pending. <laughs> then share to other people. Don't share there. You're looking good this night. Thank you. God bless you. They, I'm always looking good anyways. I never look bad. Anita, go ahead and share the broadcast. You cannot come and be asking for prayer without working for God. When you work for God, God will restore your health. You don't need to ask for prayer. Just obey and go and share the broadcast to seven groups and you will be healed. Wow, I haven't been seeing you. Hi, Jane. Hi, Mashi. Hi, Favor. Please, as you tune in, go ahead and share the broadcast. Shalom, AG. God bless you. I am not going to start the broadcast tonight except we have 200 souls. I am not starting the broadcast tonight except we have 200 souls. So please, as you tune in, make sure that you're doing evangelism. Let me also go and tag the video. I've actually forgot to tag the video. Let me go and tag the video. For those of you that always send your testimonies without a testimony offering, please, in Evan Chapel, when we give testimony, we give offering. If you are sending your testimonies and your encounter to me, 
and you don't give an offering. The Bible says so that affliction will not arise the second time. When you start seeing those pain coming back to you, know that you are the devil of your own life. Before you type your testimony, make sure that you have a testimony offering. Some of you, I will post your testimony, but you're doing yourself more harm than good. You will not go to your church and testify and come down empty-handed. Learn to practice what it is that will give you a permanent testimony. Don't allow your testimony to be temporary. Make sure you seal your testimony so that your testimony will be permanent and affliction will not arise the second time. So if you feel like what I'm saying is not right, it's left for you to do what is right. God bless you, Wilma, Wama. Don't worry. Continue to save God, Wilma. And failure will not be your portion again. If you have met me earlier, that failure will be terminated. But as you continue to stay under my grace, failure will be terminated from your life in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, I will personally use my hand and remove you from failure in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please make sure that you are sharing the video. The Lord is a consuming fire and is going to consume that situation tonight. Tonight we are consuming every situation. Tonight we are consuming every situation. We are releasing the consuming fire on every situation tonight. Tonight is a night of releasing the consuming fire to every of your situations. When the consuming fire goes forth, they cannot stand. Jesus is the unconsuming fire. The devil cannot stand. So as the Lord is going to consume them tonight, you are going to be permanently free. You are going to be what? Permanently free. Please make sure that you're sharing the brokers. Make sure that you are engaging the brokers. Make sure that you are calling somebody wake somebody up some people they are sleeping right now make sure that you wake them up write their names for them to get the alert on their phone write their names for them to wake up tonight we are looking for 200 souls to start so please and please make sure that you are sharing the brokers don't just be here without sharing the earlier we share the earlier we start the earlier we share the earlier we start Please keep commencing my night of perfection, my week of perfection, my day of perfection. In Mabron Peace, you don't share the brokers. Jenny, you have not shared the brokers. Juliet Brown, you have not shared the brokers. Tochuku Adeniyi, you have not shared the brokers. Go ahead and share. Jocelyn Nell, you have not shared. I've, God bless you all, my Shara. Henry, you have not shared. I just love Facebook because the moment to share the video, you will have Shara by your name and you will have top fan. God bless you, my top fans. God bless you, my sharers. As to share for the Lord, so shall your life be perfected in the name of Jesus. Begin to decree and declare my night of perfection, my week of perfection, my month of perfection, my year of perfection in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, your life must be perfected. Your week must be perfected. My God. There are so many testimonies. There are so many testimonies. Let me tell you guys something. Prophecy is good, but prayer is the best. Prophecies are good, but prayer, you see instant results. Instant results. Instant results. Begin to decree and declare. Begin to decree and declare. Hey. Hey, Mary, can you share the broadcast with me inbox? Mary, send the broadcast to me inbox. God bless you. Send it for me inbox, please. Make sure that you're sharing the broadcast. 
Make sure that you're sharing the broadcast. Make sure that you are inviting somebody for the Lord to consume them tonight. Please, when I give somebody an order to do something for me, I want that person to do it for me. Not everybody. Nobody else should share that broadcast with me. Thank you so much. Anytime I ask someone to do something for me, I want just one person to do it. The one who, whom I have addressed to do it for me. What I'm actually looking for, I cannot get it though. So God bless you. Please make sure that you're sharing the broadcast. I wanted to use it to host a watch party, but the way it came, I don't like this phone. The person that sent it for me is not opening the way I wanted it to open. I don't like the phone you use in sending it to me. It's not opening the way it should open. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how we did it yesterday. Okay, God bless you. I got it tonight. I got it tonight. God bless you. Please make sure that you're sharing. Make sure that you update it on your status. What I do is I just update it on my status and people see it and they come. I measure. God bless you for being a tough fan. Nelly, you are a tough fan. God bless you. Please let us go ahead and share. We have a long way to go. We are just 93 people from 200. Blessings to you, Mazi. Mazi, you don't share the broadcast. Your week of perfection. Please. Your month of perfection. Your week of perfection. Your year of perfection. Please make sure that you're sharing the broadcast. It is very important for us to share the broadcast. And please, I, I keep saying that people should not share to Evan Chapel group. Allow me to share there. Please go and join other groups so that you'll be able to do evangelism. So that you'll be able to do evangelism. For those of you that are not sharing the broadcast, I hope that by the time your file will not be open in this meeting, you will try to understand that after all, you were not sharing the broadcast. So you don't expect God to visit you when you don't work for God. Some of you, you don't really understand the reason why you need to share the broadcast. But by the time I start operating in the prophetic, you will understand why you need to share the broadcast. God bless you, Sister Mary. Please make sure that you are sharing and that you are with, you are hosting a watch party. God bless you. I want us to have people tune in tonight before we start. Go ahead and share. I want people to tune in tonight before we start. Before we start, God bless you. If it is your first time of worshiping with us, can I see you? If it is your first time of worshiping with us, can I see you? Today is my first day in Evan Chapel. Can I see you? If it is your first day, can I see you? Today is my first day. Today is my first day. Today is my first day. Can I see you? If it is your first night of coming in, can I see you? That means we are not doing evangelism. If we are not getting one single new person tuned in, that means we are not doing evangelism. If we are not getting people tuned in, that means we are not doing evangelism wake somebody up some people they have gone to sleep wake them up send this right people's name that you have not seen let them come in let them come in god bless you god bless you for sharing as you connect tonight may the lord set you free as you connect tonight may the lord bless your family as you connect tonight may the lord allow the fire to consume your enemies as you connect tonight, may the Lord set you free from every captivity. As you connect tonight, may the Lord wipe away your tears. Please make sure that you are reacting to this broadcast. Make sure you are commenting and you are reacting. Make sure you are commenting and you are reacting. If the video goes off on us, I am not going to come back. So please make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. Did I tag the broadcast? Can somebody check for me if I talk to the broadcast? Please make sure that you're sharing. It's very, very important for you to share. Call a brother, call a sister to come in. Call a brother, call a sister to come in. Call a brother, call a sister to come in. God bless you as you keep on sharing for the Lord. Tonight is the day nine. Tonight is the day nine. We are going, we are going, we are going. And before you know it, the prayer is over. 
tonight we are coming to release the consuming fire we are coming to release the consuming fire tonight we are releasing 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 the consuming fire we are releasing the consuming fire on our enemies tonight we are releasing the consuming fire on the devil tonight so please make sure that you are sharing make sure that you are sharing make sure that you are sharing Make sure that you're sharing the broadcast. Make sure you are inviting somebody. If there is a sister you know is not here, make sure you wake them up. Some people, they are sleeping. Make sure that you wake them up. Holy Spirit, go and wake people up. Holy Spirit, go and wake people up. And yesterday, I also announced that I will be coming earlier than I should other days. So people should expect me by this time that i would come on people should expect me by this time that i will come on early because i posted that the devil is a liar go ahead and share go ahead and share we are going to break the fast before we start if there is somebody that you have not seen wake them up uche has been up all night but right now she's sleeping somebody wake her up Somebody wake her up. Somebody wake Uche up. She's sleeping. She has been up all night. And now it is time for broadcast. She's going to sleep. Somebody wake her up. If there is somebody else that you have noticed that the person is not here, wake them up. Send the notification on their phone for them to wake up. I have not seen Victor. Make sure that you send the notification to Victor. Victor Karama is still sleeping. You need to take note of the people that are not here and wake them up. Make sure that you're hosting a watch party. Make sure that you're calling people in. Don't just come in by yourself. You cannot build the kingdom of God alone. It is hard for you to say, I can build God's kingdom alone. No, it is a lie. You can't build God's kingdom alone. It is a lie. You need to be all it with people. So go ahead and call somebody. Go ahead. Fina, why are you sharing the broadcast with me? Fina, why are you sending the broadcast to me? Please don't send your broadcast to me. Share your broadcast to Facebook. Don't send it to me. Okay. So it is hard for you to think that you can be all the kingdom of God alone. No. Share it to other people for them to wake up. You need people to wake up and come and join the broadcast. So anybody that you have not seen, you have not seen brother Victor, go and look for him. Send him a message. You have not seen sister Uche, go and send her a message. She doesn't sleep at night. She sleeps in the morning. So go and wake all those people up. Tell them it's time for broadcast. Wake up. When it is time to sleep at night, sleep at night. So that in the morning, you'll be able to wake up. Not in the morning, that's when you are going to sleep. And at all nights, you don't sleep. That's the devil using you. You need to sleep at night to be up in the morning, not to go to bed in the morning. No, that's, that's wrong. The devil doesn't want you to receive. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. As you tune in, God bless you. We are just waiting for more people for us to start. Tonight is a combined service. We are going to be breaking the Monday fasting and then we are going to start our midnight hour. We were supposed to start 11 to 12 for... We are supposed to start 11 to 12 for the after fasting prayer and 12 to 1 for the midnight hour. But if you guys are not sharing right now and we are not getting the number of people that we want, that means that the time for the midnight hour would be taken because I am not going to do more than two hours, trust me. So that means if, you're not, if you cannot give the Lord 200 souls, we are not going to start. Even if it's just for us to sit down and talk as we are talking like this, that is what we'll do for two hours. But I am telling you something tonight that if you and I cannot give God 200 souls tonight, we are not starting. We ain't starting. 
So go and make use of your share buttons. Go and call people, write it, send it to your WhatsApp the way I have sent to my WhatsApp for your people to tune in on WhatsApp. Message somebody on a text message, send the link and people are going to tune in. Oh my God. Send the link and people are going to tune in. So make sure that you are engaging the broadcast. Don't allow the broadcast to cut off on us. Make sure that you are engaging. Share it to people. I'm also hosting watch parties. And let's see what the Lord will do. We have been on for how long? Some people just come to receive without sharing. Shalom, go ahead and share the broadcast. Nelly Chris, share the broadcast. You don't share. That's why you don't have Shara by your name. If it is your first time of worshiping with us, please, can I see you? First timers, can I see you? I love you and so do God. So if it is your first time, please let me see you. It is my first time to worship with Evan Chapel. Can I see you? God bless you guys as you share. For those sharing, continue to share. I know that the broadcast in the morning is really affecting people because this is when some people are rushing to go to work. This is when some people are going to bed. Some people, it is 2 a.m. for them already. Some people, it's 3 a.m. in the U.S. already. Some people in Toronto, um, Canada, it's already 2 a.m. for them. I understand. But that is notwithstanding that we need to be losing the souls. Just keep on sharing. Any soul that God wants to bring, God is going to bring them. Your job is for you to do what? To share. And the Holy Spirit will do what? Bring the people. Your job is to share and Holy Spirit will do what? Wake the people up. Look at now, Sister Uche. I have to send somebody to go and wake her up. Victor, I have to send somebody to go and wake him up. <laughs> uh -huh. Some people, they are working right now, like Mr. Sien. Mr. Sien said I'm at work right now. So you see, but that is not withstanding as you have come in. So if some of you, you might not even be able to wait and until the last time. But if you just come in and then you share, then you can go back to work. You're already connected. You have connected. Once you come in and then you go out, you have already connected. Adama is not here. Somebody go and wake Adama up. She's still sleeping. Adama is sleeping and snoring right now. She's not on the broadcast. Somebody message Adama. Tell her it is time for the broadcast. Aisha, wake up and pray. So you see, some of you, maybe because I have spiritual eyes, I know the people that are here. I know the people that are not here. So I keep on, as I mentioned their name, go and message them. Tell them to wake up and come and pray. I am not going to allow the devil to use anybody to use me. We have seven more minutes for us to share. As soon as it is 11.30, I am going to start the program. As soon as it is 11.30, I am going to start the program. So please, you have seven more minutes to share the broadcast. So go ahead and share. Make sure that you're hosting a watch party like me. What I do is host a watch party. Make sure that you're sharing. I know people are still sleeping, but that's okay. Just do your part by hosting. Do your part by calling people. Write their name and they will get the notification immediately. Um, Maawa is not here. Milton is not here. Valerie is not here. NK is not here. Benjamin is not here. Write their names and they will get the notification and they will wake up and they will come. Cherry Walker is not here. Um, Maggie Singley is not here. I just say Maggie Singley and Maggie Singley tune in. Maggie Simon is not here. Maggie Simeon is not here. Write those people's name and they will come on the broadcast immediately. God bless you. Ezine says it's my first time. May the good Lord bless you, Ezine. May the good Lord release your first time blessing to you. Ezine, go ahead and share for the people in your location. Feel free to come back another day, Ezine. This program runs for the next 40 days and today is the day nine. God bless you for connecting. Connect your family, connect your friends, your loved ones, your well-wishers, people that you want their life to move forward. Connect them on this program. Connect them. Let the Lord visit them. I'm timing myself. How you have five more minutes to share. You have five more minutes to share. For those of you that are my top fan, may the good Lord bless you. Um, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I don't know why. You see, people are tuning in. People are waking up. Favor, you are welcome. Make sure you're sharing the broadcast with the people in Lagos. 
as you continue to write people's name people will be coming in so make sure that you're waking them up sister fechi god bless you please make sure that you're sharing the broadcast to people in the uk uh sister lillian make sure you're sharing for people in germany and those of you in italy i am surprised that you guys have lost it you guys were the ones taking the first position in the sharing but right now trust me you guys are not at it those of you in the u.s please begin to wake people up just write your friend's name on the broadcast the way they are on Facebook. And God is going to bring the people in. We are welcome. We have four more minutes to share the broadcast. 11.26 right now. As soon as it's 11.30, we are going to start. Whether the devil likes it or not, do not allow the devil to overcome you. Do not allow the devil to be victorious over the Lord. Make sure that you are an evangelist for the Lord tonight. Remember that evangelism and soul winning is the heartbeat of Jesus. The Bible says, he that winneth soul is wise. Not he that seeketh prophecy. Not he that seeketh prayer. But he that winneth soul is wise. Soul winning is the heartbeat of Jesus. If you want to move God in the prophetic realm, then you need to win a soul. How are you going to win a soul? If you're not doing evangelism, you cannot win souls for God. Some of you, you are ashamed of Jesus, but you are proud of your husbands. Some of you, you are ashamed of Jesus, but you are proud of your wife. Child of God, I want to tell you something. In as much as you are ashamed of Jesus whilst you are on earth, Jesus will be ashamed of you on the last day. He shall say to you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I know you not. And you will tell the Lord, why don't you know me? The Lord would say, because on that fateful Monday, when you were in Evan Chapel midnight prayer, my daughter was shouting, share and share. You refused to share. So therefore, I know you not. In as much as you did not glorify me, you did not glorify my name. So I know you not. Don't allow the Lord to tell you, depart, for I know you not. Some of you, the things that you're looking for, you can get it just by sharing for the Lord. Some of you, the breakthrough that you are looking for, you can get it just by sharing for the Lord. But the reason your blessings are not coming, the reasons your breakthroughs are not coming, is because you are not even even conscious. Some of you, you don't even care about the kingdom advancement. Some of you, it is none of your business. Whether people tune in or people don't tune in, you don't care. So long as you are here, your own is complete. Your own is complete. You are like, I'm there. The woman of God will locate me when people are not there. You are a liar. In this heaven chapel, let me tell you how the mind of God works. Whatsoever you do, there is a reward. Sometimes we don't need to prophesy to you. You will see that thousands of the testimonies that I have posted, none of them did I call. I'm not like those... Um, I'm not like those servants of God that you they, 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 you have your number, you call them for prayer, they pray for you. No, my own is that you connect and receive. So if you cannot connect, then you will never be able to receive anything. You need to walk for God to see the face of God. You're not just going to pick the phone and call me and expect me to pray for you over the phone. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to save God and receive your blessing from God. If I just give you prophecy and I don't lead you to God, I am doing you more harm than good. But if I lead you to God, your promises, your revelation, your prophecies is secured. Why? Because you're already in Christ. And when you are in Christ, everything works for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome to the monday fasting if you are fasted today can i see you if you fasted today can i see you if you fasted today can i see you child of god it is essential for you to fast for those of you that have not been observing the fasting every monday is our general fasting in heaven chapel every monday is our fasting in heaven chapel so if you have not been fasting please keep a date next week monday and begin to fast and pray jesus started with prayer and he ended with prayer jesus whilst he was on earth jesus had all the power but he fasted he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Why did Jesus fast for that? Even when he knew that his father had the ability to give him whatsoever he wanted. But there are some things that will not pass away. There are some things that will not go away. Except through prayer and fasting. Child of God, learn to fast. 
Fasting is very good. Sometimes you need to kill the flesh. Sometimes you need to equip the spirit. Sometimes you need to afflict your spirit with the food of the spirit. You are not just going to be eating the physical food, but the spiritual food. When you begin to eat the spiritual food, you will not be eating in your dream. You will not be, you will not allow the devil to be defeating you. When you begin to eat the spiritual food, you don't even need deliverance. Why? Because you have fortified your body. Sometimes you need to fortify your body with the power of Jesus, with the anointing of Jesus, with the grace of Jesus, so that you will be able to fight your battles. Some of you, you don't even know. This is how I fight my battles. I fight my battles with prayer and fasting. I fight my battles by burning my flesh. You know, tonight I just put on something. Tonight I was trying to come on this live broadcast and I tried to put on my clothes and I couldn't zip up my clothes. And I went on, I went and I went to seek help to seek up to, to zip up my clothes. And my clothes wouldn't zip up. And my and I begin to wonder because sometimes I don't eat in a day. Sometimes one square meal. I'm not the type that eats, but why do I keep getting healthy? The joy of the Lord gives you what? Gives you long, long life, longevity, good health. The, 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 the fasting and prayer makes you beautiful. It polishes your skin. It nourishes you. When people see you, they think that you're rubbing one expensive cream. No, I don't even have a cream. I rub the blood of Jesus. I shower the blood of Jesus. I don't have cream. You see me, if I am the type that rub creams, you will see it on my noggles. I don't do those things. You see people rub cream and you see it on their noggles they have black 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 eggs all over their face their neck their hands no i don't do cream this is just me as i am speaking right now as i'm sitting on that place there is no there is no makeup on my face there is no makeup on my face this is just my face with the little lipstick that i put on my lips but i am good to go what am i trying to say beauty comes from the lord it is the lord that beautifies you when the beauty and the glory of the lord comes from you you don't even need makeup to be beautiful you don't need cream to be beautiful you don't need too much appliance of creams and things and bleaching yourselves and have they ever preached to you that those of you who are bleaching your skin you will not make heaven do you know that skin bleaching is a sin do you tell them when you see your pastors bleaching do you tell them man of god do you know that bleaching is a sin woman of god do you know that bleaching is a skin a sin if you don't know let me correct you skin bleaching is a sin it's a sin you need to stop bleaching Bleaching is a sin before your creator. You need to stop it. So, child of God, you need... There are so many things that we did. By the time you begin to practice those things, by the time you begin to operate in those things, the Lord will begin to fight your battles. You will fight your own battles. Your marriage will be peaceful. Why? Because when you begin to operate in the level of fasting and prayer, the devil can no longer dwell in your house. So today, 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 today was our fasting and prayer. And we are coming to end our fasting and prayer before we get to the midnight hour. Hour. Somebody, if you are excited about that word that I have given you, come and give it. Go ahead and give it to Jesus. Skin bleaching is wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't need cream to be beautiful, okay? You don't need it to be beautiful. You don't need it. Um, some other time. Some other time I will go into details with that tonight. I don't have the time, but I will be preaching about the things that we have omitted that God gave us. Some of you, you don't know how beautiful your dark skin is. I was not born to hear white beauty. I was born to hear black beauty. I was born to hear that black is beautiful. So why are you polishing your skin to something that God did not give you? The color of the skin that God gave you is beautiful, but yet you don't like it. It is okay that some people some people don't even like their natural nails they fix nails it's okay but when it comes to the skin bleaching i do not get that one at all like you're rubbing something to wash your skin like you know you can have cancer you can have viruses of many sorts you it can affect your chest it can affect your health medically it is not good no medical doctor will advise you to ever put an ointment or anything on your body so if you're the type that bleaches your skin sweetheart stop it stop it stop it stop it begin to get baby products and use on your skin that is not what i came for tonight but another day when i'm on that ocean we will flow on that ocean but i don't know why the holy spirit wants me to say this father we thank you for this day we worship you because you're god father as we open this hour for the fasting 
Father, take preeminence. Father, take control. Father, take charge. As you tune in, please make sure that you get 200 for the Lord. Don't allow the devil to defeat you tonight. If you have not shared, make sure you're sharing. Every Monday is our general fasting. Every Monday is our general fasting. Start your week with Jesus. Start your week with Jesus. There is nothing as good as starting your week with Jesus. When you start your week with Jesus, you are victorious. When you come and fast on Monday, you are giving God your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And on another Monday, you start your week again with Jesus. Telling the Lord to bless your week. Telling the Lord to show you favor. Telling the Lord to show you mercy. It is essential for you to operate on this fasting. Child of God, if you can begin to operate in our fasting and prayer... My goodness, you are going to see the massive miracle that God is going to give you. We have been running this platform for the, for the last four years. That is how, this is how the God, the Lord started my ministry with the fasting and prayer. And it has been there, even before I started ministry, it's been doing wonderful things in the lives of people. Prayer point number one, Father, make this month a month of reportable change in my scorecard for good in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you that when you begin to operate in fasting and prayer, that is when the Lord will make that month, your month, your month, your month, your month of reportable change. Somebody, you don't know what a reportable change is. Uh, when there is a reportable change, uh, there is promotion. Uh, when there is a reportable change, uh, there is a next level. Uh, when there is a reportable change, uh, there is fruitfulness. Uh, when there is a reportable change, uh, it is your next level. Uh, when there is a reportable change, uh, that means you're changing level. Uh, you can only change level uh, by operating in the supernatural. Uh, you can only change level uh, by praying the kind of prayer let me tell you something uh, our monday prayers are powerful uh, you will not get it anywhere uh, by the leading of the holy spirit uh, we pray and something happens you open your mouth right now uh, and begin to pray that prayer father in this month of july uh, make this month a reportable change uh, hit my scorecard uh, hit my marriage card uh, hit my fruitfulness uh, hit my job lord uh, hit my ministry uh, let this month of july let this month of July be a month of reportable change in my scorecard in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you don't know that you have a scorecard. When I come here and tell you, share the broadcast, you do not understand. Let me tell you what a scorecard is. There is a book of life that is in heaven, just like there is a book of life on earth. When during the 30 days of the storm is over, I had a scorecard. This was my scorecard where I wrote down the names of people and I started to give them their revelation. Uh, in heaven, there is a scorecard. When you begin to work for God, when you do evangelism for God, when you walk in the ways of the Lord, the Lord begins to score you in your scorecard. And when there is a score in your scorecard, in the days of crying, the Lord will make that month a reportable month for you because there is a credit on your scorecard. If you don't have credit on your scorecard, you cannot use your credit card to buy something. Begin to get some call on your credit card. Begin to get some score on your credit card in this month of July. Make this month of July my reportable change in my scorecard for good in the name of Jesus. Make this month of July a reportable change, Lord, uh, in my scorecard uh, for my good, uh, for my family's good, for my wife's good, for my husband's good, for my children's good, for my ministry's good. In the mighty name of Jesus, prayer point number one, Father, Lord, my God, uh, in this month of July, uh, make this month a reportable change uh, in my scorecard for good. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, I decree and I declare uh, in this month of July, your scorecard shall be for good. Your marriage shall be for good. Your children shall be for good. Your job shall be for good. Your promotion shall be for good. Your health shall be for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. Oh God. Whatever the enemies have scattered in my life, I fix it supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemies have scattered in my life, uh, I fix it supernaturally. This is what I am talking about. When you operate in fasting and prayer, you are operating in the supernatural. Supernatural is a realm that the witches cannot understand. Supernatural is a realm that you cannot understand yourself. Supernatural is the impossibilities that thought tensions to possibility. So if the supernatural is me sitting down here, yeah, and there is fire in the house, uh, and that door was not open, but I am outsider. People see me outsider, uh, and they begin to wonder, 
How did you get out? That is supernatural. When you begin to pray and operate in fasting and prayer, you begin to operate in the supernatural. Now let us pray this prayer. My Father, my Maker, whatsoever the enemies have scattered in my life, I fix it supernaturally. I fix it supernaturally. I fix it supernaturally. I fix your marriage supernaturally. I fix your job supernaturally. I fix your marriage supernaturally. Your fruitfulness supernaturally. Everything that the enemy is destroyed from your life. In this night or this night, this night, this night, this Monday fasting that you did, uh, let everything that was scattered in your life be fixed supernaturally. Everything that was scattered, make sure that you are reacting to this broadcast. Make sure you are releasing those hearts on this broadcast. Don't be reminded for you to release those hearts. If you get caught off, that is it for the night. Make sure you are reacting to the broadcast. Make sure you are commenting. Make sure you are hosting a watch party. Please do not let your hands be free. Make sure you are releasing those hearts. Release those hearts for the Lord tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, whatsoever the enemies have scattered in my life, uh, I fix it supernaturally. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, whatsoever was destroyed, I fix it supernaturally. In the mighty name of Jesus, prayer point number three, every causes every causes of automatic failure working in any department of my body i command it broken in the name of jesus every causes of automatic failure working in my body or any department of my body i command them broken in this fasting and prayer every causes that was done automatically to bring god's failure to bring god's sickness to bring god's sadness to bring God's tears, uh, to bring God's barrenness, uh, in this meeting, we command them broken. In the name of Jesus, in this meeting, we command them broken. In the name of Jesus, in this meeting, we command them broken. In the name of Jesus, in this meeting, we command them broken. In the name of Jesus, every causes of automatic failure, working in any department of our body, we command you broken. We command you broken. We command command you broken in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number four. Oh God, release an earthquake against my full-time enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my maker, release an earthquake an earthquake, an earthquake, an earthquake. Just sometimes you don't understand that you have full-time enemies. There are people that says, I will not rest until I put your head down. There are people that are your full-time enemies that even your family knows that these people, they hate you and they go to employ them. Some of you, you are sitting down there. You don't know who they gave money to come and put you down. You don't know who they gave money. Just your frenemies, they are your full-time enemies. They will stop at nothing until they see you tearing down. They will stop at nothing until they see you leave your marriage. They will stop at nothing until they see your ministry fall. They will stop at nothing until you're, they rub your name to shame. They will stop at nothing until they label you a thief. They will stop at nothing until they label you a witch. In this hour, in this hour, my father, my maker, release earthquake against my full-time enemies. In the name of Jesus, father, release earthquake on our full-time enemies. In the name of Jesus, father, release earthquake on our full-time enemies. In the name of Jesus, father, release earthquake on our full-time enemies. In the name of Jesus, Marku Sheteli Brakasata, tonight, right here, in this Monday fasting, Father, release earthquake against our full-time enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point number five. Every gate of, every gate of hell limiting my access to my blessings, I command you to be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. 
every evil gate of hell limiting our access to our blessings limiting our access to our marriage limiting our access to our breakthrough limiting our access to our faithfulness limiting our access to our promotion limiting our access to our victory limiting our access to our good news limiting our access to our testimony in this midnight time we command you to do what Dire. We command you to do what? Dire. We destroy you by fire. We destroy you by fire. We destroy you by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil gate that is limiting my access to my blessing, every evil gate that is limiting your blessings to your breakthrough, that is limiting your victory, that is limiting your fruitfulness, that is limiting your husband, that is limiting your wife, that is limiting your children, be destroyed by fire. Fire, be destroyed by 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 fire. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare every gate of hell limiting your access to your blessing. I command you destroy by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Prayer point number six Father, let your thunder and your lightning. Scatter every hand holding my favor. Every hand holding your favor. Every hand holding your document. Every hand holding your contract. Every hand holding your fruitfulness. Every hand holding your promotion. Every hand holding your business. Every hand holding my marriage. Every hand holding my children. Every hand holding my glory. In this fasting and prayer. Father, let your thunder, Father, let your lightning, let it scatter every hand, let it scatter every leg, let it scatter every head, let it scatter every man, let it scatter every woman who is holding on to our favor, who is holding on to your documents, who is holding on to your job, who is holding on to your promotion, who is holding on to your source case. May they scatter, 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 in the name of Jesus. In this fasting and prayer, Father, I release thunder. I release lightning. I release fire. I release matches. I release tongue. I release spirit on every evil hand. That is holding on to my marriage. That is holding on to my children. That is holding on to my husband. That is holding on to my wife. That is holding on to my business. That is holding on to my documents. That is holding on to my contract. That is holding on to my fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, may they scatter and die. May they be destroyer. 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 In the name of Jesus, Father, we confess tonight, uh, every thunder, every lightning, scatter every evil man, every witch or wizard, every strong man in our foundation that is sitting on our sources, that is sitting on our fruitfulness, that is sitting on our marriages, that is sitting on our fruit of the womb. May they be scattered. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight in this meeting, as we close our fasting and prayer, every gate of hell uh, that is limiting access to our blessings, every gate of hell that is limiting our marriage, every gate of hell that is limiting our promotion, every gate of hell that is limiting our fruitfulness, may they be shattered, 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 may they be shattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they gather tonight, whether they gather one or two, whether they gather in groups, whether they gather in companies, whether they gather in spirit, whether they gather in the physical, whether they gather spiritually, wherever they gather tonight, may their meetings scatter, may their meetings scatters, may their meetings scatters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every man or woman who has cursed me in this life for me to fail. Any man or woman who has cursed you in life for you not to prosper. Any man or woman 
who has laid curses on you for you not to be fruitful. Any man or woman who has laid curses on you for you not to progress. Tonight in this fasting and prayer, let the fire of God burn them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, every witches and wizard, every marine kingdom, every occultic power, every demonic spirit, every man or woman, every boy or girl, physically or spiritually, in the covenant, in the fetish prison, whether they go to the shrine, may they be destroyer, may they be destroyer, may they be destroyer, may they be destroyer, in the name of Jesus. Whoever has made me a borrower, whoever has made me a borrower, may the thunder of the Lord destroy them tonight. Whoever has turned me to mockery, may the fire of God destroy them tonight. Whoever has stopped my progress, may shame be their meal. Whoever has brought sickness upon my home, may shame be their portion. Whoever is the reason I am crying, may they never see better days. In the name of Jesus, Whoever is destroying my name, let shame be their portion. Whoever is walking on my downfall, may they fall down and not recover. In the name of Jesus, whoever had brought calamity in my family, may calamity be their portion. In the name of Jesus, whoever is the reason why I cannot sleep at night, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, locate them in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you have lived abroad for years, but you do not have your documents. Some of you, all effort for you to get your document is not working. Every effort for you to get your document is not working. In this fasting and prayer, wherever they buried your document, tonight I release your document in the name of Jesus. Whoever says you will not have your document, tonight I release your document. Whoever says you will not get that document, tonight I release your document. Tonight I release your document. Tonight I release your papers. Tonight I release your visas. Tonight I release your applications. In the name of Jesus, may your citizenship be released. In the name of Jesus, may your green card be released. In the name of Jesus, every international document that you need to move in that country, may it be released tonight. May it be released tonight. May it be released tonight. In the name of Jesus, tonight in this fasting and prayer, every sickness in your body, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I command them to come out by fire. Every sickness in your body, I command them to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, wherever you went and doors were closed, I open doors unto you tonight. I open doors unto you tonight with the power of prayer and fasting. I open every closed door. I open every closed door. I open every closed destiny. I open every closed womb. 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 In the name of Jesus, I don't care who spoke into your life. And said you will not marry. Today being the Monday of this fasting and prayer. Today Monday. I speak into your life. I command this Monday to be the last Monday of tears for you. I command this Monday to be the last Monday of sorrow for you. I command this Monday to be the last Monday of borrowing for you. I command this Monday to be your last Monday of job searcher. I command this Monday to be your last Monday of singlehood. I command this Monday to be your last Monday of tears. In the name of Jesus, those of you that went crying, those of you that went weeping, uh, I release joy in your homes. I release joy in your marriage. I release joy in your ministry. I release joy in your relationship. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Go and multiply in the name of Jesus. Go and increase in the name of Jesus. Go and rejoice in the name of Jesus. Go and get that job in the name of Jesus. Go and open that business in the name of Jesus. Go and get that idea in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever was stolen from you, uh, I came to 
to restore the years of the tanker worms. Uh, I came to restore the years that the carcass have eaten. I came to restore the years of the locusts. Uh, whatsoever the locusts have taken from you, uh, tonight you recover them all in the name of Jesus. Tonight recover them all in the name of Jesus. Tonight recover them all in the name of Jesus. Tonight recover them all in the name of Jesus. Tonight recover them all in the name of Jesus. I prophetically speak into your life. Every evil prophecy that was not allowing your life to move forward. Uh, tonight, I break the spell of every evil prophecy. Every evil pronouncement on your behalf uh, that did not allow you to move from where you are to where God wants you to be. Tonight, I release that embargo. Tonight, I release that embargo. Tonight, I will that embargo. Tonight, I roll that embargo. Tonight, I stop that embargo. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever you were not able to do, wherever you were not able to go, whatsoever you were not able to do in the past, tonight I kill you into the supernatural. Tonight I kill you into the prophetic. You will begin to do strange and mighty things. You will begin to have strange and mighty results. You will begin to give strange and mighty testimonies. You will begin to have strange happenings in your around you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your day. I command your week. I command your month. I command your year. May miraculous things begin to happen for you. Wherever doors were closed, let there be an open door. I release an open heaven today for you. I release an open heaven for you today. I release an open heaven in this fasting and prayer section that the doors of mercy and glory of blessing and favor and fruitfulness and marriages, I open those doors for you. As I open today in the name of God the Father, as I open in the name of God the Son, as I open in the name of our God the Holy Spirit, no woman on earth will be able to shut this door. No man on earth will shut this door. Today as I open the host of heaven open, legions of heaven have opened. Legions of angels on your chart. Legions of Holy Spirit for you tonight. Begin to operate in the supernatural. Take that which the Lord has given to you tonight. No man shall steal it from you. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Father, every dark powers. Every dark powers. Every dark powers. Stopping my celebration. Your time is up. Die by fire. Every dark power. Every dark power. Every dark powers. Stopping your celebration. I command them to die tonight. I command them to die tonight. Any man or woman. Stopping your celebration. I command them to die tonight. Any evil prophet. Stopping your celebration. I command them to die tonight. Every witches and wizard stopping your celebration. I command them to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, every dark powers stopping the celebration of your children. Their time is up now. Die by fire. Your time is up. Die by fire. Spirit from my father's side stopping my celebration. Die by fire. Spirit from your mother's side stopping your celebration. Die by fire. Spirit from any way. Stopping your celebration. Die by fire. Die by fire. Whatever dark wall. Occultic wall. Demonic wall. Spiritual wall. Physical wall. Trying to stop your celebration. Tonight, 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 tonight. Uh, any power. Any dark powers. Any dark forces. Any evil manner, which is a wizard, principalities of darkness, trying to stop your celebration. Their time is up. Their time is up. Their time is up. Their time is up. They will die by fire. They must die by fire. They must leave you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Remember. Pass is a nice place to visit, but certainly not a good place to stay. Remember that your past is a nice place to visit. Some of you that keep dwelling in the past, I was very rich. I used to be rich. I used to be rich. 
I had a good job. I was once in America. I once did this. Past is a good place to visit, but sweetheart, don't stay there. Your past is a good place to visit, but do not stay there. Do not stay there. Do not stay there. Remember, past is a nice place to visit, but certainly not a good place to stay. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Not all storms comes to destroy your life. Some storm comes to clear your path. You know, sometimes you are seeing some people come into your life. You think they are coming to destroy. You know, all the storms do not come to destroy. Some comes to clear your path. Just like some relationship comes to clear your path, make you a better woman, prepare you for the next man to come and marry you. So not all storms comes to destroy your life. Some storm comes to clear your path. May that be somebody's portion in the name of Jesus. We have come to the end of our fasting and prayer. I welcome you to the midnight hour. It's exactly 12 midnight. Welcome to the midnight hour. 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 If you have not shared the broadcast, go ahead and share the broadcast. If you're not doing evangelism, go ahead and do evangelism. You are welcome to the day 9 of 40 of our midnight prayer. You are welcome to the day 9 of 40 of our midnight prayer. Somebody is saying, my God, uh, this woman of God is something else. Uh, that was our fasting. That was our Monday fasting that we just finished. That is our Monday fasting that we just finished. Right now, we are beginning to start our midnight prayer. It's one minute after 12 a.m. Happy Tuesday to you, beloved of Christ. May the good Lord bless you. It is an honor for me to have you on this day nine. It is wonderful for me to have you in this day nine. If you're just tuning in, you are very welcome to this day nine. Begin to decree and say, uh, my life must be perfect. My life must be perfect. My husband's life must be perfect. My father's life must be perfect. My mother's life must be perfect. My ministry must be perfect. My job must be perfect. My health must be perfect. Everything concerning your life must be perfect. Child of God, you need to help me. We have one hour for the midnight prayer. We are going to be done. Please go ahead and share. If you have not shared the broadcast, share the broadcast. Can we give God 300 tonight? Can you call somebody to come in? Please go back and reshare. We need people to tune in to the midnight hour. We are done with our fasting. If you were blessed in the first section, can I see you? Even as I am welcoming you into the next section, I want you to begin to write, my life must be perfect. 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 My year must be perfect. My week must be perfect. My health must be perfect. My husband's job must be perfect. You don't understand what perfection means. Seven is the month of perfection. Seven is the month of complexion. In this month of the seventh, your life must be complete whether the devil likes it or not remember the motto of the year our motto of the year is 2020 my year of divine settlement by all means whether you like it or not in this 2020 you will be divinely settled remember the word my divine settlement Divine is something that you do not plan. Something that is divine is something that you don't plan. Just like the day the Lord gave me the prophecy. I did not plan the prophecy. I was not even looking up for the prophecy to happen. God said the prophecy on Friday morning. And Saturday when my children finished the partnership meeting. God gave me a miracle of 5,000. Over 5,000 Lord in less than 24 hours. Who is like unto our God. And if it was somebody that gave me the prophecy prophecy. Maybe I would have doubted, but you guys all heard me. After I said the testimony for the baby, I said, God said he is going to surprise me. He says I will never lack again. God says I will never lack again. God says he is going to come and fulfill my life because he has tested me and he has trusted me. My God, my God, uh, in less than 24 hours, divine miracle happened. Financial breakthrough came. Uh, divine financial breakthrough I am talking about over $5,000. Child of God, I am going to post my testimony. Anybody that said that, uh, 
Anybody that says you will not testify, yeah? if I can testify, yeah, you will testify. Yeah? When I said receive your testimony, I did not know that I was receiving a testimony. When I said something was going to happen, when I prophesied a financial breakthrough, I did not know it was for me. Yeah? But child of God, God made it. Yeah? I don't know how we did it, but he made a way just from two people. Child of God, you don't need too many people. People, uh, you don't need too many people uh, for you to move to the top. Uh, you don't need too much people. Just two people. Just two people. The first seed came a thousand dollars. The second seed came two thousand six hundred. The third one came three thousand. Uh, I am talking about a favor that came in less than twenty four hours, over five thousand dollars. Even if I was walking, child of God, ah, uh, it will not come in twenty four hours. I am telling you what God can do. Ah, uh, He is a God of a miracle. He is a God of a last hour. He is a God of a second chance. When he opens a door, no man can close. If you are in this meeting, I want you to connect and receive. I don't want you to say I have got nobody. I don't want you to say I know nobody. God can cause men to bless you. I didn't know nobody. When I went for the partners meeting, I didn't know God was going to bless me. I finished the meeting. God said it on Friday. You guys remember the Friday. I came on the broadcast. The network was bad. I said, God came to me. I'm sure people were laughing at me. I'm sure people did not believe me. I'm sure people doubted me. Because sometimes it is difficult for you to believe God. Sometimes it is difficult for you to understand that somebody said, God came to me. Who are you that God came to? I'm sure some people, they really call me. But truly, God came to me. God came to me and he said to me, pick up the book and look at the back of the book. I pick up the book and I read the back of the book and I begin to see what the Lord is saying. I made a covenant with God. I said, I am going to save you. In as much as you feed the beds, I know that you will provide your this mission is done. The Lord referred me to that. My God, I just want to celebrate my children. Where were you people? Where were you people? All of you. Why did you people not do it? I just lay in my bed and I begin to ask God. I say, but God, why is it that all these, my children, they had money and they were not giving me then? I was asking the Lord. I said, so these people had money and they were not giving me then. Why is it that the moment you said that they will begin to favor me, that I will not lack anything. All the people begin to send me money. Every day, my children send me money. They say, mommy, for your fruit. Somebody say, mommy, for your mouth. Another person say, mommy, for your meal. I was crying. I said, my God, my God, my God, my God. What kind of a man is it? Has he speaketh with his mouth? He is performing with his hand. God is the one that speaketh and is doing it with his hand. As God is thinking about you, he is causing the people that need to do it. He is waking them up. Uh, I see the Lord waking somebody night because of you. I see the Lord waking somebody up tonight because of you. I took my phone. Child of God, let me testify. Let me testify. I took my phone. And I went on the calculator. And I began to calculate. The exchange rate is 405 in the US right now. So I took my phone and I said 405 times $5,300 is equal to 2.1 million. I began to see the money that God gave to me. I held myself 2.1 million, 2.146500. I held myself and I began to ask the Lord. I said, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God, you gave me this much money in less than 24 hours. God gave me 2.1 million naira from two people. I am not saying three people. But after that, two people gave me on Saturday. Hey, yesterday, a lot of people blessed me. This morning, a lot of people bless me. I don't remember that people still know that mommy likes malt. They began to buy malt for me. They begin to give me milk. They begin to give me. I lay down in my bed. I say, oh God, I don't know the kind of followers you gave me. My followers are the best. I don't know the kind of children you gave me. My children are the best. Even if sometimes I shout for them. 
I told them share the broadcast. They don't like when I say she, but they still love me. They don't like when I say she. When I come, I shout for them because I want the best for them. Because I want to correct them. Because I love them. God says relax. Relax because they love you too. Relax. You will not lack again. I saw the blessing of God. Look at the money in Naira. In African currency. 2.1. I hear people say testimony. They say somebody send me 100,000. Somebody send me 50,000. Somebody send me 30,000. My God. God did not give me 500,000. Oh. God did not give me 1 million. Oh. God did not give me 1.5. God gave me 2.1 million in one day. In one day. My children in the Lord. You know that your mother doesn't like. Your mother doesn't lie. I will post my testimony today. The God that has given me testimony. Must give you testimony. I am a testifier today. To the glory of God. And to the shame of the devil. In this hard time. In this pandemic. In this season. I was not expecting. Children of God. I am not saying that. I am not saying that. It was not tight. It was seed. The road day. I am blessing the woman of God. One thousand dollar. Another one thousand for ministry. Another one thousand for the less privilege. And I begin to thank the Lord. Who I buy rice every month. Who I buy rice every month for the poor. I keep on feeding the poor. I keep on giving to people. Even in this ministry. I, there are people that I still bless. I don't come and say it. I bless people. I saw God. Our four babies. Our four babies that we have in Heaven Chapel. Even when people refuse to contribute for those babies. I send money to all the mothers of the children that we have in Heaven Chapel. I did it. And God says, I have tested you. I have seen your heart. Somebody tonight, if you understand the depth of this testimony. You will see that financial door is opening. Because when they bless the mother, the children must be blessed. When they bless the mother, the children must be blessed. Because the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. I have seen the blessing of the Lord making me rich. I remember talking to somebody. It is not a birthday gift. Oh. I am not saying it's a birthday gift. My birthday is over. Today, today I still receive other gifts from the U.S. Let me show you people something. Let me show you people something. Today, I still receive other gifts from the U.S. I am telling you about what God is doing. Look at this. This one came today. Today, this one arrived. This one arrived from the U.S. It was sent to me. Another one is lying there. It was sent to me. I begin to wonder and I ask God. I say, Father, who am I? Hey, child of God. If you can save God, save God. Whatsoever you can do for the Lord, do for the Lord. There is seed time and there is harvest time. There is seed time and there is harvest time. There is seed time and there is harvest time. I, I labored in the vineyard of God for three years. I pray every day. People ask questions. They say every day she's doing live broadcast. They even laughed at me when I couldn't have a phone. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. They sent it to me. They sent it to me. The blessing of God that can locate a man. They sent it to me. The blessing of God. The blessing of God. Three years I was doing life every day. They were laughing at me. People were laughing and mocking at me. Look at the back. Look at the back. Ava. It's not $50. It's not $100. It's not $200. You people know this is brand. CK. CK. Three years. Every day I come online. Every day I pray. Every day I pray from my heart. I didn't know that God was waiting for the right time to reward me. God is a rewarder. As you are sharing this broadcast, people are laughing at you. I am not done, oh. I am not done. Two parcels returned from the U.S. today. Other people are still saying, Mommy, 
Did you receive your gift? It's on the way. Child of God, are you tired of serving God? Are you reluctant to save God? When I say she, she, there is a reward. Now you are sowing. A time is coming that you will be reaping. Can you give the Lord 300 shares tonight? Let the woman of God testify. So that testimony will come on your doorstep. For those that have fed me. For those that have clothed me. For those that have given me to drink. So shall your life be. I don't know this kind of love. My followers are the best. My children are the best. My viewers are the best. God gave me the best. Every day, you people check up on me. You people send me money. You people shower me with gifts. You people shower me with love. I did not even recover from the birthday wishes. I was like a celebrity on my birthday. I was the first lady, the real first lady. You guys gave me the name. And you guys made it to happen. God stood and honored his first lady. Look at the blessing of God. In one day, even if I am a bank manager, even if I am a contractor, I will not have $5,000 in one day now. What did I do? I did, not pray, I did not go to do fasting. I did not do deliverance. A man of God. A man of God. Single-handedly. A preacher of the gospel. Bless my ministry with over four thousand dollars and my daughter in the u.s miriam kumis bless my ministry with one thousand dollars she said mommy you pray for the debt to be cancelled and the debt was cancelled this is what i am coming to give god if she gave god one thousand how much debt do you think that god cancelled for her much do you think God gave to her? And I'm not talking about the one that came with money. I cannot count those ones. But if I am testifying today, I command your mouth to begin to experience testimonies. If you have never been blessed, I command spirit, I command blessings for you spiritually. If you have never had financial breakthrough, because the woman of God whom you sit under are anointing has gotten financial breakthrough, you will get financial breakthrough. Wait though. Eh, I am not finished. I am coming. Wait for me. My children, let me testify. Let me testify. It is only a fool that says that there is no God. I have tested and I have seen that there is God. Please share the broadcast for me. Share it for me. Let my mockers know that there is God. Let my accusers know that there is a God that answers by fire. Let my the ones who ridicule me, let them know that God answered by fire. I hear people say, they sent me 100,000. They gave me this. They sent me 50,000. I sit down. I say, God. God, when will it be? God, when will my time be? I didn't know that God was in heaven. heaven. Oh, my Lord is in heaven. Is thinking all about me. My Jesus is in heaven. He's thinking all about me. Oh, Jesus is in heaven. He's thinking all about you. Jesus is in heaven. He's thinking all about you. Jesus is in heaven. He is thinking all about you. Men will brag in little things. They don't know that what is coming for you is bigger. People were bragging with 200,000, 100,000, but God gave me 2 million. It is nowhere near to whatever they had. Somebody is bragging with a child. God is going to give you twins. Somebody is bragging with one shoe. God is going to give you 12 shoes. Somebody is bragging with a jacket. God is about to give you wardrobe. Somebody is bragging with a earring. God is about to give you a set of jewelry. Don't worry about them. Just keep on doing what God has called you to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the people think. 
It doesn't matter what the people say. It doesn't matter how the people feel. God's plan for you must stand. God has a better plan for you. Men will write you off. People will write you off. People will ridicule you. People will mock you. People will tease you. But when the time of God comes, hey, sweetheart, even if I follow the man to the hotel, will he give me two million? Do you know what two million is? Two million at this time. Another one added on top. 2.1. Hey. Maybe I am wrong. Oh. This money that I'm calculating now. I am calculating with the normal money. Oh. If I go to black market. Please. Somebody should help me to check black market. If I go to the black market. Forest Bury. Maybe the money will be 420. Exchange rate. If bank is doing 405. Forest Bury will do two, four, 450. So if the money is exchanged with 450, hey, me, I will keep the money, it will grow. If, if I want to buy car, can I not buy car now? Is there no car with 2.1 1 million in Nigeria? Please tell me. If I want to buy car now, can I not buy car? If I want to buy a new car today in Africa, Nigeria with 2.1 million, I can buy a car. Another one came up, clothes. And I just said that God said what? God said I should give out my clothes. And I'm beginning to receive clothes. Did I not say that God said I give out my clothes? Clothes are coming. Clothes are coming. When grace comes, grace will take away this grace. When grace comes, grace will take away this grace in the name of Jesus. You will not be disgraced again. Look at it. Look at it, oh. Look at it, oh. Look at it, oh. We tacked, oh. Look at it, oh. My beauty fire. You've taken away my shame. You've taken away my tears. You make my life so beautiful. My beauty fire, oh. You taking away the shame, oh. You taking away the pains. You make me just like you. My beautifier. My beautifier. He's taking away the shame. He's taking away the pain. He's made my life so beautiful. My beautifier. He's taking away the shame. Oh. He's taking away the pain. And make me just like him. Last month. I had a MacBook. MacBook is 1.8 million. Oh. 1.8 million plus 2.2 million. How much is that? My beautifier is taking away the shame. It's taking away the pain. It's made my life so beautiful. My beautifier. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. My beloved children in the Lord, do not envy anybody's prosperity. Wait for your time. Your time is what? It's coming. There is time for everybody under the sun, the moon, and the sky. Let me tell you something. I am not that evil woman of God who will collect your presence and hide it. I am not the kind of woman of God who will take your gift and pocket it? I love to testify. I am a grateful heart. It doesn't matter how much. It doesn't matter how little. There is no single gift that you people gave me that I hid it. I share it. Because I want you to know something. That God can remember anybody. Whether they wrote you off. Today I write you in. If you have never been remembered. In as much as you are under this ministry. And the Lord remembers me. You shall be remembered. He used me and gave the prophecy. I am happy that he did not use somebody to prophesy. He used me and said, I have tested you. I have seen your heart. 
I have seen your spirit. I have seen your love for me. I have seen your love for the people. Now I can trust you with money. So I am going to release money for you. Somebody, if you're under the sound of my voice, receive financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. If you're under the sound of my voice, receive financial breakthrough. But you know the way to all these things. Let your hands be pure. Don't envy anybody. Don't compete with anybody. Don't hate anybody. Let them compete with you. Let them hate you. Let them feel like anything they are doing. But when your heart is pure, God is a rewarder. He will shock them. Your testimony will silence your enemies. Your breakthrough will silence your enemies. Today, your woman of God is $5,000 plus richer. I am not counting the money. I'm not counting church money. I am counting the one they gave me. This one is they gave me. The lady sowed the seed and said, For pastors in Nigeria. Hey, the man of God sowed the seed and said, For the less privilege. Because I see what you do, woman of God. This is what he said. He said, Because I see what you do. I see the love you have for people. I see the heart you have for people. I come here, I exhaust energy every day. I pray, 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 pray. I cast, 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 cast. I release fire, release fire, release fire, release fire. People are testifying, but I did not have a testimony. But I was not worried. I kept on praying. Other people were testifying. I did not have a testimony, but I kept on praying. I was not jealous. I did not stop. I say, save the Lord every day. There is a reward, people of God. Save the Lord with your heart. Don't look at the reward. Don't save God today. Don't come for prophecy. Come here to save God and you will see God. In one day, the Lord changed my story. What is one day? It's not up to one day now. I gave the prophecy on Friday morning. And the next day was our partner's meeting. That day is the same day that it happened. I came on the broadcast. I said, tomorrow is our partner's meeting. The next day, that is when I had the breakthrough. Two people. God used two people. God used two people to bless me with over $5,000. I'm sure some people have been working from beginning of the year till July. They have not saved up to $5,000. I want to teach you something tonight for you to understand the blessings of the Lord. They are making rich and added no sorrow. There are people that are under the sound of my voice right now. They were working from January till now, but they did not, were not able to save up to 5,000. But God brought 5,000 to my life. I did not pay tax for it. When you work, you pay tax. I did not pay tax for the money. The money entered into my account. Please, when you see my testimony, Support me. When I post my testimony, support me. Share it. Let people know that there is God that rewards. In less than 24 hours, the Lord used his first lady. He spoke the prophecy through me. And it came to pass through me. When I post my testimonies, I am going to put the receipt for you to see. Because some people will still doubt. There, are some, there is somebody here who will still doubt it and say, how can it happen? But I don't lie. If I give you a testimony, I am telling you the truth. You will see the receipt. And when you calculate the money, maybe it's even more than what I'm mentioning. Maybe when you calculate the money, maybe it will be more than what I'm mentioning. You help me to calculate it. Please, my children, when you see the receipt, calculate the money and write the amount on the testimony side. As you write the amount, say, I claim it in the name of Jesus. Take your own. For those of you that are not testifiers, when somebody testify, my brother, I like the testimony. Learn to share testimonies to groups. Please, tonight, I said, host a watch party for me. Tonight, I said, share the video for the Lord. Tonight, because this is how you will get your own. I told you, get 300 for the Lord. Do you know what God will do for you under the place of getting him 300? You don't know. Every day I encourage you. I said, I know that my Redeemer live it. I know that my Redeemer live it. And I know that he will carry me through. When time comes, then my God will carry me through. Because he called me. 
If you called yourself, you are on your own. But when God calls you, God will do everything. I know that my really my living. I know that when time comes, that God will do that, which only him can do. I was not worried. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Blessing is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Mercy is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Blessing is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Patience is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Patience was my name. Patience. I turned my name from Kate Favor to Patience. I waited on the Lord with all my heart. I was not distracted because I know that God lived. I was not carried away. I hear people say this thing. I kept on doing my thing. I hear people say this thing. I kept on doing my thing. I kept on keeping my prayer every day. I did not know that the trine of my faith walked patience. I did not know that the trine of my faith walked perseverance. I did not know that God was putting me through a test. I did not know that God was putting me in his record, scaling me to see. Let me see if this lady truly loves me or she just wants to take the glory. Let me see if this my daughter can really bless me without her getting things in return. Ah, and then the Lord began to stop the people. People were not coming. People were not doing what they were meant to do. I kept on going. Every day I come, I pray. Every day I come. Sometimes I'm tired, I pray from the bed. Sometimes I'm tired, but I say, oh, if I leave them like that, it will not be good. Sometimes I host a movie for you. Sometimes I put movie just to keep you. Sometimes I just want to keep you company because I know that there is somebody that just wants to see me in order to sleep. I know that there are some people that are looking forward to hear my voice. I know that there are people that are looking forward to see my face. So I kept going. I kept coming. I kept coming. I kept coming. Even when I was dismayed in my spirit, I kept on encouraging you. Even when I had nothing in my own pocket, I kept on encouraging you, telling you what God can do. But you don't know. And today, I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. Oh, I didn't know you will honor me this way. You will honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know my God will honor me this way. I didn't know. He will honor me this month, oh. I didn't know. He will honor me this year. He will honor me this way. But thank you, Jesus. My dear, I didn't know. God will visit me this way. I didn't know. My blessing will be big, oh. I didn't know. It will come very soon. It will come very fast. But thank you, Jesus. I did not know that it was going to come like that. I only gave a prophecy like when God uses me to speak. I come and I tell you people. I said, this is what God said. He came to me in my room and he said this. I was just sharing the revelation that what happened in my day. I didn't know that God was just preparing the minds of people. I didn't know that God went to the house of Miriam and told to Miriam, you need to bless her. Come on, begin to take your phone. Even when I was in that meeting, I did not know that God had a plan. I didn't know that God was telling her, take that phone right now. Go on your car right now. Transfer that money. A man of God came back. He bought his books. After he bought his books, he, the next thing, uh, he sent money. 2.1 million. God blessing a, a woman of God. Me, me. 2.1 million. 2.1 million. For over $5,000. God did it for me. God did it for me. He did it. And you are seeing it. Uh, when the Bible says that, Eyes have not seen, yes, have not heard. 
Neither will your mouth be able to testify what the Lord is about to do for you. I didn't know that it was real. I didn't know that, it, you know, these things happen. They actually, yes, have no hate. Eyes have not seen. Neither will your mouth be able. Tonight, there is an encouragement in your spirit. Tonight, you know that your faith has to grow to the place of trusting God, even with your last. Trust God with your last. Trust God with your last. In this ministry, I still pay tight. I still sow seed for my ministry to grow. I sow seed. God did not prophesy this prophecy through my Godfather. God did not use my spiritual father to give me this prophecy. God did not use my spiritual mother to give me this prophecy. God did not use a prophet to give me this prophecy. God used me and prophesied to me. The greatest thing that God can do is to give a man his own prophecy. And the man believe. God gave me my own prophecy. And I believed. God said it. And I believed it. God said to it. God said it. And I believe it. God said to it. When God speaks, some of you, you still doubt the woman of God that you're following. But I want you to know that this woman of God that you see is a mouthpiece of God. The one after God's heart. The one that God honors. The one that God sees through. The one that God speaks through. People worked for six months. They have not saved up to 5,000. For God gave it to me in less than 24 hours. It's not up to 24 hours now. Please, Mary, can you count it for me? From the time we finished the live broadcast in the midnight, 2 a.m. Canada time, to the next day, which I came to testify, it's not up to 24 hours now. 24 hours is two days. This will happen on that one day now. I feel like crying, you oh. know. I feel like crying. Now I am looking for tears, but tears is not coming, oh. Hey, do you know that when God does something for you, you cannot sleep at night? Hey, every time I go on my phone, I look at the alert. I go on my phone, I look at the alert, too. Oh. It gives me joy. Looking at the alert gives me joy. I look at it, I say, Chai, <laughs> this money, you need to stay there and be cool. I don't need to rush this money. This money is, I need to be taking the temperature of this money. Because when God gives you something, sometimes you cannot sleep. Sometimes you're looking for tears. You cannot cry. It's not coming. I saw this money like this. I, I was telling the man of God, I said, why are you doing this? He says, I cannot stop. I am late. I am late. He gave the first 3,000. It was not enough. After the midnight hour, he gave another 1,000. That day of so a seed of perfection. The, the, the seventh day, he gave another one. Hey, I stood like this and said, God, oh, I didn't know that this is how you wanted to do it, God. You have done too much now. Jesus, you have overdue. You have, you, you, God, you, you have done too much. If God has told me, how much should I give you? I would have said $500. If God has asked me, how much do you want me to bless you? I would have said, well, 500 serve. I will not mention. I will be afraid to mention 500 for God. I would have been afraid. But look at how God paid me. Even if this is the, even if this is the one that God has, even if this is all that I'm reaping for the three years that I did ministry. It's okay. If this is my reward, he said to me, listen, you people remember, he said you will never lack again. I, I told you people, I said, God said, I will never lack again. He said, he has tested me and I have passed his test that he is pleased with me and that he's going to surprise me going forward. He said, I should not think about how he's going to do it. I should not question him, but I should watch out and see. You people remember. It happened. Sharp, sharp. Less than 24 hours. You will see the receipt. You will calculate it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's even more. Maybe it's more than I am not putting a I am not putting money for books, so I am putting the reward. Ah, tonight with a broken heart, I lift my hands to say, 
If you have never been favored in life, the financial favor that has located me must locate you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I say we are coming to do what? Release consuming fire. Tonight, we are coming to release what? Consuming fire. We are coming to release consuming fire on our destiny helpers. We are coming to release consuming fire on those that God has kept her. Let me tell you something. Uh, if you have people in abroad and they cannot help you, tonight as you release the consuming fire on them, ah, they must favor you by fire. They must favor you by force. They must favor you. Uh, I am coming to release the consuming fire tonight. If you are on this broadcast and you are hearing me, begin to release fire. Begin to release thunder. Begin to release fire. Prepare your fire tonight. I want to see fires. I want to see fires. Fires on your destiny helpers. Fire on your destiny helpers. Fire on people that should help you. Some of you, you have rich parents, but they have forgotten about you. In this midnight hour, the consuming fire of the Lord must locate your helpers. Must locate your helpers. Some of you, you cannot get that job because they don't want to recommend you. Because they don't want to approve you. In this midnight hour, Consuming fire of God. Go out and consume them. Every destiny help us. Go and consume them. I don't like when I am talking. People are not listening. I am not telling you to say amen. Oh. I am telling you to release fire. God bless you, Mira. Look at what Mira is doing and do it. Look at what Tina Tina is doing and do it. Mesha, I did not tell you to say amen. Favor or care for, I am not telling you to say amen. I am telling you to release fire. Release fire. My destiny help us. Remember me tonight. My destiny help us. Remember me tonight. My destiny help us. Remember me tonight. Tonight I am provoked. That is why I came to release fire. I ran this ministry for years. I did not have a miracle that was shocking. Now tonight, 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 uh, I heard the Lord says, uh, I will give testimonies that will sound like a lie. Now my testimony tonight sounds like a lie, but it is the truth. That testimony that sounds like a lie, the Lord is going to release it to you. Consuming fire, consuming fire, consuming fire, consuming fire on our destiny help us. Consuming fire on the people that matters. Consuming fire on those that has your job. Consuming fire on that man that should marry you. Consuming fire on that godfather that is sitting on your prosperity. Let me tell you something. There are some wicked godfathers that they should be called evil fathers. They are sleeping with their own children. They are sitting on your own prosperity. They don't want to tell you that this is what God is saying. Because they don't want you to be more famous or more richer than them. And they, they fail to show you. There are some people that whatsoever they know, they fail to show you because they don't want God to bless you. But tonight, because of the divine mandate, tonight, because of the divine favor, tonight, because of the financial breakthrough, everyone that is having your financial breakthrough, let there be a consuming fire. Let there be a consuming fire. Prayer point number one, my father, my maker, release financial favor. My father, my maker, in this midnight hour, release financial favor, release financial favor, release financial favor, fire of financial favor, fire of financial favor, fire of financial favor, be released tonight, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes I wish that you guys understand. Sometimes I wish that you can pray. I did not tell you that I did assignment. Oh. You were here when I prayed the prayer. Tonight, I want you to connect your destiny helpers. Destiny helpers. I release a consuming fire. Wherever you are, locate me in the name of Jesus. Tonight, prayer point number two. Every destiny helper in my life has I released the consuming fire tonight. Begin to locate me in the name of Jesus. Every destiny helper has I released the consuming fire tonight. Begin to locate me by fire. Begin to locate me by force. 
Begin to locate me by fire. Begin to locate me by force. Every destiny helper. Destiny helper in my family. Destiny helpers of my marriage. Destiny helpers of my job. Destiny helpers of my document. Tonight as I release fire. Begin to locate me. There is something I do not like about you guys. When it is time for prayer. Please do not joke with the moment. When it is time for the prayer. Please do not joke with the moment. I don't want you to joke with this moment. If you cannot pray, release the heart. If you cannot pray, just share. If you cannot pray, just host a watch party. Let me pray for you tonight. And you will see. Within 24 hours. The Lord will show up for you. And you will know that there is a God that lived in heaven. Within 24 hours. Like he showed up for me. He will show up for you. Just see if you can pray this prayer. Just see if you can believe the Lord. Just see if you can obey the Lord. And share this broadcast. And host the watch party. And stand on the promises of God. Prayer point number three. Prayer point number three. Any man or woman. That was meant to push me forward. As I release the consuming fire. Begin to remember me. Any man or woman. That was responsible to push me forward. As I release the re consuming fire tonight. Begin to remember me by fire. Begin to remember me by force. Any man or woman that was meant to remember me for good. Has I release the consuming fire. Remember me tonight. Remember me tonight. Remember me tonight. In the name of Jesus. In this midnight hour. Any man or woman who was meant to push you forward. That has forgotten you. May you be remembered by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number four. I am not going to spend more than two hours. We have 15 more minutes to pray. And we have just 10 prayer points for the night. If you like, follow me. Tonight I came to do what? It is the midnight prayer that commands blessings. That commands breakthrough. That commands victory. That commands warfare. So tonight we are commanding our blessing. We are releasing fire. Some nights we will pray for victory. Some nights we will pray for witches. So follow us and look at the topic of our midnight prayer. It covers every prayer point. Please make sure that you are releasing fire. And I am not seeing fire tonight. And I am not seeing fire tonight. This is what I want you to do for me. In the last, in the remaining 14 minutes, I want you to copy the fire. Copy the fire. Just be pesting. Just be pesting. Just be pesting. Just be pesting. You are going to see what will happen. If only you can connect in the next 24 hours. Somebody, you will leave this broadcast and you will get alert. Even as I'm sitting down here praying, I know that by the time I leave this broadcast, Maybe God will make my testimony to be $6,000. Maybe another 500 will be waiting. By the time I finish and I will put that one, then my testimony will be over 6,000, not 5,000 again. So if you have that kind of faith with me, begin to release fire. Begin to release fire. Every destiny helper, every future helper, every ministry helper, every marriage helper, every job helper, every body that is my destiny helper. Locate me by fire. 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 Can I give you another testimony? It is a night of testimony. I want to testify you into a new level. I want to wait and I want to testify you into a new ground. I want to testify you into a new dimension. Since I was born, since I grew up to be a lady, I have never bought a cell phone. Since I grew up, since cell phone came and I grew up, I have never bought a cell phone. Since they started using phone, phone, I have never bought one phone with my money. Let me tell you about the blessings of God. Me, first lady, as I'm sitting down here, I have never bought a phone for myself. I have grace for gifts. <laughs> I have 
receive anointing to be blessed. I have never bought a gift of phone for myself. Since they started using phone, tonight I connect you to a divine favor. Tonight I connect you to a divine grace. Tonight I connect you to a divine mantle. In as much as there are things that I have never gone to buy for myself. May you be remembered wherever you were forgotten in the name of Jesus. Some of you, these people are there in your life. But they are not helping you. Tonight I release angels. Tonight I release angels. Tonight I release angels. To go on your behalf. Anyone that is holding the key to your prosperity. Anyone that is holding your car key. Anyone that is holding your house key. Anyone that is holding the key to your marriage. Anyone that is holding the key to your job. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered in the name of Jesus. Consuming fire. Consume these people. Consuming fire. Consume my destiny. Consuming fire. Consume my helpers. Consuming fires. Consume anyone that is holding on to what belongs to me. Any man or woman that is holding on to what belongs to you. Let the consuming fire of the Lord begin to consume them. Consuming fire. Ah, if you can disgrace the devil and give God the victory before the remaining 10 minutes, before the remaining 10 minutes, ah, prayer point number seven. Any man or woman that is responsible to bless me will not know no sleep until I am blessed. Any man or woman who is carrying my blessing, I take away sleep from your eyes. I take away sleep from your eyes. I take away sleep from your eyes. Until you bless me, you will know no sleep. Until you bless me, you will know no sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point number eight. Anywhere my husband is, anywhere my wife is, I render you restless. Until you look at me, you will know no rest. In the name of Jesus, consuming fire, go to my destiny husband. Consuming fire, go to my destiny wife. Until you look at me, you will know no rest. Until you look at me, you will know no peace. Tonight I release consuming fire on your destiny husbands. Tonight I release consuming fire on your destiny wives. You will know no peace until you locate me. You will know no rest until you find me. I release the consuming fire. I release the consuming fire. The Lord shall consume you. The fire of the Lord shall consume you. Until you locate me, there is no rest for you. Until you locate me. There is no peace for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point number nine. Every destiny carrier of my destiny. Every destiny carrier of my destiny. As Esther was favored, so shall I be favored. In this midnight hour, every of my destiny carrier, just the way Esther was favored, so shall I be favored tonight. As Esther was favored, Esther found favor in the sight of the king. Today you will find favor in the sight of your destiny helpers. In the mighty name of Jesus, every destiny helpers of your destiny, look at you by fire. Look at me by fire. Look at us 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 by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody you don't understand. Sometimes you need to shake it. Sometimes you need to shake it and get it. The Bible says right from the days of John the Baptist. The kingdom of God suffered violent. And the violent take it by force. Prayer point number nine. Whoever is responsible for my next level. Look at me right now. Whoever is responsible for my next level. Look at me today. Whoever is responsible for my next level. Look at me today. 
Whoever is responsible for my next level, locate me today by fire. In the name of Jesus, whoever is responsible for my next level, whoever is responsible for my next blessing, whoever is responsible for my next level, my next dimension, my new level, locate me by fire. Prayer point number 10. Father, let your wish be done in my life. Father, let your wish concerning every destiny helper be done in my life. Father, let your wish concerning every destiny carrier, every destiny that carries my blessing, every destiny mother, every destiny father, every destiny uncle, every destiny friend, every destiny colleague. Father, let your plans, let your wish concerning my destiny help us. Let it locate me and glow to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, your destiny help us. You have turned them to your sex partners. Some of you, you turn your destiny help us to your sex partners. Some of you, you turn your destiny help us to something else. People that were meant to come and help you, you turn them into something else. Some of you, you turn your angels into sleeping partners. May the Lord have mercy tonight and allow your divine destiny help us to locate you in the name of Jesus. Every of your divine destiny help us. Every of your divine destiny help us. According to God's wish and desire. According to God's plan and purpose. May they locate you and glue to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. May they locate you and glue to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are blessed, let me see you. If you are blessed tonight, let me see you. Somebody begin to say, I am blessed. If you are blessed tonight, can I see you? If you are blessed tonight, can I see you? If tonight was a blessed night for you, can I see you? Begin to thank God for everything that he has done. I bless you and I release your breakthrough. I release financial breakthrough. I release your destiny breakthroughs. I release your destiny helpers. Your alert shall ring. You shall get an alert on your phone. You shall get a notification on your email. You shall get money transfer. Your debt shall be cancelled. You will be remembered with a gift of money. Financial breakthrough shall locate you. Just like that. Just like that. Financial breakthrough of the Lord shall locate you. Just like that. Just like that. Breakthrough shall locate you. Favor shall locate you. If you have never been blessed in your life, men shall bless you. Women shall remember you. People that forgot about you shall remember you for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see somebody getting an alert after this service. I see myself receiving an alert after this service. I see somebody getting money after this service. If that was for you, let your amen be louder. If that was for you, can you release that fire? If that was for you, can you say thank you, Jesus? If that was for you, can you clap for the Lord? If that was for you, can you say thank you, Holy Spirit? If that was for you, can you reference God the Father? If that was for you, can you clap unto Jesus? It shall be your portion. It shall be your portion. I bless your day. I bless your week. I bless your month. It shall be your best week ever. It shall be your best day ever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless your going out. I bless your coming in. I bless your waters. I bless your food. I bless your bed. I bless your dreams. I bless your sleep. I bless your clothes. I bless your shoes. Whatsoever your hand touch it, blessing shall locate you. I release increases in your businesses. I release promotion. I release a new job. I release marriages. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. That womb, you shall be fruitful. In this month of perfection, that womb shall be fruitful. 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 That mouth that is lamenting, you shall smile. I see a testimony coming your way. I see a testimony coming your way. All this and many more shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We have brought the meeting of today into a conclusion. God bless you for saving God with me on this day 9. Tomorrow is going to be our day 10. And we are left with 30 days and this meeting will be over. 
Slowly, slowly, we shall make it to the finishing point. Finish hard and finish good. Your glory is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Don't give up. Your blessings are on the way. You will smile just like I'm smiling today. In the mighty name of Jesus, please, I want to encourage you to be going to the page to like the testimony. Sometimes I give a prophetic prophecy with my beautiful image. Sometimes I use my wonderfully and fearfully made body and make you a prophetic declaration. And you don't claim it. You are waiting for prophecy on the live broadcast. No, you can claim that miracle, financial miracle in less than hours and it will be your portion. Make sure that you are following the post. Make sure you are claiming every testimony. Say, I claim this testimony of healing. I claim this financial testimony. Let me tell you some people something. You see the testimony that I'm going to post for myself. 274 people under the sound of my voice. I want to see more than 700, 800 people sharing my testimony. That financial breakthrough. I am going to drop that testimony today as I am leaving this broadcast. I will drop that testimony, that financial testimony that took place in my life within the next 24 hours through the prophetic declaration of God through my mouth. Go and claim it. Don't joke with it. If you don't share testimonies, go and share. I challenge you as you do. Yours is about to come. Today, today I was thinking that my daughter is sending me money for my birthday. I didn't know that she's sending money for the storm, for the service that, they, that we are doing. The woman of God that you are sitting under her grace did not bless her for her birthday. You came to bless her for the prayer. How is that going to work? How? How? So please go and support my testimony. If you are tired of financial constraint, you are tired of borrowing, you are tired of not having money in your hand, go and support my testimony. If I were you, I would sow a seed and claim that. That financial breakthrough that took place in my life, as soon as Miria sent me 1000 I sowed a seed of $100 in somebody's life in this ministry. I saw the seed in my baby's life. All the babies in the ministry, I saw the seed. Another one came. Learn to give than to receive. And you will see. You will reap bountifully. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. God gave us that in the last partner's meeting. I did not know who it was for. And the man of God came. I said, the Lord said that they that sow in tears will reap in joy. You gave me 4,000. They that sow in tears, they reap in joy. I didn't know that as I was giving out that money, another one was coming. Child of God, learn to follow the heavenly principle and you will see your life. I love you guys with the love of God. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the care. Thank you for the consign. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for supporting me in this ministry. Thank you is not enough, but that is the only word I can say. Thank you. May the good Lord bless you. May the Lord make your life beautiful. May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord keep you for me. May the Lord bless you for me. May the Lord give you more because of me. In the name of Jesus. Me, I said I don't know where else I will take from. God needs to bless you people. To bless me. Because you, you, you are my job. You are my house. You are my car. So God needs to bless you for you to bless me. This is why I pray for you. This is why I fast for you. This is why I labor for you. Because God needs to bless you in order for you to bless me. This is my job, praying for you. God needs to bless you for you to bless me. So whether the devil likes it or not, you must be a blessing in my life. So therefore, your hands must be blessed. Your pocket must be blessed. Your bank account must be blessed. Your jobs must be blessed. Your finances must be blessed. Because you must bless me in the name of Jesus. God must open doors. If not for you, because his first lady needs to be blessed, he will bless you. And unless God blesses you, you keep the blessing to yourself. That's where the blessing will disappear. But in as I pray for you, and God blesses you, and you bless this ministry, you will never lack. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you, I love you, I love you. And my greatest wish, above all wishes, is heaven at last. I wish you heaven at last. In as much as we are rejoicing like this on earth, I want to see you in heaven, and we can worship, and we will remember everything that took place. May my God bless you. May Jehovah God bless you. May the God of heaven chapel bless you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. May your blessing come like the stars. May your blessing come like the moon. May your blessings be uncountable. In as much as nobody can measure water, they will not be able to measure your blessings. I command your blessings to come like the sun. As much as they cannot count the sun, nobody will be able to count your blessings. I release increase. I release favor. I release blessing. Financial breakthrough. Let it be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Open doors shall locate you. Favor shall be your portion. Now till the hours of our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good night. Wonderful day to you. For those of you starting your day, have a blessed day. May the Lord surprise you today. For those of you going to bed, may the Lord release his angels and give them charge over you. In the name of Jesus. In your dream, may there be a revelation. In your dreams, may you have an encounter. I love you with this precious love of the Lord. May the peace, may the joy, may the favor, may the mercy, may the blessings of the Lord that passes all understanding. May the blessings of God that passes all understanding. Let it be your portion. I greet you with the peace of God. May the Lord keep you for me. May the Lord preserve you till your is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and make sure that you stay to receive heaven at last. Blessings. Shalom. Bye. I love you.